All right, Jason here again with another fantastic video for EM171 codes and installation. And we're looking at the switch receptacle combination project, uh, number six, I believe it is, on your list of projects. And I'm just going to look at the device itself and talk about how to wire it up. Okay, so. The devices we'll use here will be the receptacle switch combination device as well as our light fixture. Okay, so take a closer look at this combination device. So it's part receptacle, which we have up here at the top, and part switch down here at the bottom. So you can see it's actually shaped like a regular duplex receptacle. So the faceplate that we would normally use for a receptacle goes on this device. Okay. So let's look at the screw connections and see what hooks where. Okay, if we flip over to the right, we're basically going to see what we would normally see on a standard duplex receptacle. Okay, two hot screws connected together by the tab okay so this will be where we come in with power from our panel okay now each of these screws are tied to the devices here internally so the top screw is tied to the hot slot of the receptacle the bottom screw is the hot going to the switch okay and that's just a single pole switch you can actually see here that it's labeled on and off okay. on the other side we have three screws okay the one at the top is your neutral okay so that will connect to the neutral sl slot on the receptacle in the center is your ground screw. That's where you'll t twist your wires together to attach your ground. And the bottom is your other hot for your switch. So if you remember, just like on a single pole switch, we have two connections, right? One for power coming in, one for power going out. And it's the same thing on this device. We have power coming in over here and power going out to control the light in this case okay so that's how we're going to wire this now you can flip it around if you want it to work different ways but the way we're going to wire it the most common way to wire it is have it where the receptacle stays hot at all times and we use the switch to control um, some other device in this case being a light okay we can flip that around and make it where the switch controls the receptacle but, um, we're not going to show you that in this example, but if you do pull up the schematics that I've posted online, you can look at the alternate method for wiring this up, okay? So coming from our source, again, grounds will twist together as usual. Neutral wire will be a little bit different, okay? So with it, we will have to again do a pigtail connection. Okay, you may have remember that from one of the earlier videos we've done. Okay, so that means I grab a piece of scrap wire out of the bin here. Okay, got one right here. And on one end, I make a hook. Okay. That off there and make a hook, and that will go on the top right up here on the device. Okay. And I will tighten that down. Good. Just 
kind of unusual wiring something up looking through the video screen here. Tighten that up a little bit. Okay. This shows you a good use of the needle nose pliers. Sometimes if your hook doesn't come out the way you want it, you can always use that to tighten up your hook to attach to your screw terminal. Okay, so and I'll take the other end of that. Put some of this off. Do about a half inch or so connection. Then we don't need as much for a wire nut connection. And that will go in with your two neutral wires. Okay. So you'll have two pieces of 14 um, 2, so just ignore that red wire as if it were not here. Okay. And again, the reason we're doing this pigtail is because we have our two neutral wires, but on this device, we only have one screw for neutral. So again, we do a pigtail connection to handle that situation. Okay. So then from our power coming in, okay, that will go to this side. Okay, so that would go over here. And that's the only wire that will go on this side. It's power coming in. And then back to the other side. This will be our output to our light. So we'll take our other hot wire going out to the light. And that will connect there. and that'll be your connection inside the box for the combination device okay so with the way we have this hooked power will be coming here in here on this side and because of this tab that will not only give us the power to control the light but it also provide power to the receptacle and since we have come in on this side with our power that receptacle will stay hot at all times okay it will not be switched the only thing that will be switched is our light okay so that's pretty much all there is to the switch receptacle combination okay again just these two devices here Okay, two pieces of 14-2 wire. Okay, one from the panel to the combination device, and one from the combination device to your light. Okay, and again, ignore this red wire there. Just been using these for examples, so I didn't want to waste any other wire, but it's two pieces of 14-2. Okay, all right, and that's pretty much it for the combination device. Okay. Just making sure you get your hot connections on the right screw terminals to make it work correctly. It's the main thing to keep in mind with this one. Okay. Alrighty, that's all for now.